Hey guys, just a quick video of our JCO 2018 Expander Outback. We have just put in off-grid system, so with the Enerdrive 2000 watt inverter, a giant 340 amp hour lithium battery. Um, we've just got the existing shunt that came with the caravan. Um, we have the Another shunt, which is the Victron Smart Shunt, um, down the bottom there. We've got isolation here, active link, we've got our fuse, and then because we have very little room in this caravan, we've tried to keep as much storage as we can, so try to keep the drawers there so we can still use the drawers under the inverter, hence the inverter's under a little plinth. And then, oh, while we're over this way, we've got the Inverter controls up here, so we can turn it on and off without having to, without having to open up the cupboard. Then over here, we've put everything on this side where the old battery box used to be. So the J35 is still there with a the very messy Jayco wiring that comes with the with these caravans. Um, we've built up this back panel um, with DC to DC, um, 50 amp um, MPPT solar controller. We've got our MIDI fuse box right there with the bus and then we've got our 240 volt charger. So all this stuff fits nice and neatly in there. So you can give you a closer look of how it all looks in there. So 30 amp 240 volt charger, 50 amp solar charger and 30 amp DC to DC. So the reason we went with Victron, two reasons. Uh, one is when we're driving with the two separate chargers, we can have the solar charging and drawing current from the car. So if we're going between places and the battery is flat, we should get a fairly fast charge on the main battery. Um, we're only about 30 amp 240 volt charger because the way we figure it, if we're going to be camped up somewhere, we're going to be there overnight anyway. So 10 hours, 12 hours, that battery will charge the whole way to full again. Um, so we just had to integrate it back into the J35. So what we've done is we've disconnected the solar um, off there and we have um, just run a feed straight from the junction box straight over to the J35. Um, so what we've done on the roof was solar. We've actually run new wires the whole way back up there, all the way across up to the roof. And we have put on 800 watts of solar on the roof. I'll actually include that with um, some photos with this video um, and what we have in here is just we have everything which is very full in there so we've got the diesel heater um, the existing J control um, that well I don't know if we can re reprogram that to work with the lithium battery but because we've got that BC300 um, it actually reads um, the current so yeah, the state of charge and the minutes are all wrong, but at least, at least at a glance, I can look at that and and see what's happening. Um, we've got the isolator for the diesel heater and the USB point. So the reason we do the the, um, the, the reason we do the um, isolation here for the diesel heater because apparently um, those screens will fade out over time if you keep them on. So we just keep it isolated. We hardly ever use the diesel heater anyway. Um, diesel heater is probably located in the back there. Don't worry about this, this mesh here because this is for our dogs. We've got one son and three dogs. Um, so the vents run under, under there, the diesel heater's in that corner and they come out there. Everything's all out at the moment because we have been working on this and just literally got it finished. Um, okay, so that's about it. I'll just stand back so you guys can actually get a perspective of where everything is. Um, I was looking online trying to find um, videos of other people doing um, JCO expanders um, not many videos out there the reason being I want to show this is because we want to maintain our storage so in this space here there was um, very little storage um, there's the that drawer and then the rest of the area was waste of space I've had to build a platform for the battery because the plumbing comes up there so the plumbing now goes under that platform but there's a cutout 
cut out there on the battery tray. So if we pull that battery out, we've got access to the plumbing. So, and everything's all not touching, no rubbing, so nothing should break. Um, isolation under there, so that's about it. So I'm not too sure, I haven't seen too many reviews on these giant batteries, um, but I've had um, the AGM battery before, the lithium, sorry, the um, old lead acid AGM battery, um, uh, and a giant one, and it was good. These giant batteries come with a five year warranty. They're made in Australia, and so I guess we'll just find out how long it lasts for. But so far, it looks pretty good. Um, other than that, I'll post some pictures of the sole on the roof, and that's about it.